The latest numbers from the Oklahoma Health Department show nearly 6,000 people here in our state are living with HIV AIDS. Since 1982, nearly 5,000 Oklahomans have lost their lives to the virus. Many of them are memorialized by quilts on display at Tulsa's Equality Center. Quilts that on Saturday will um, be placed in Atlanta, uh, where it happens to be World AIDS Day. Each panel telling a unique story of a loved one who died, but nearly all have something in common. Their lives were touched by Reverend Leslie Penrose. I was terrified I was going to forget one of their names because remembering their names was so important. The names, the faces on these quilts Reverend Leslie Penrose knows personally. Chris and Zach and Karen and Adam and Andy and Mark and Brad. It was 1988 in Tulsa. Leslie tells me there was only one funeral home that would allow those who died from HIV AIDS. And she was the only minister at the time willing to officiate their services. But within a year and for probably the next five or six years, oftentimes two or three a week. She could put people at ease. Putting people at ease during a time when Brad says it was difficult to be openly gay and go to church. We got the um, letter asking us or stating that we were welcome in the church but please don't drink out of the water fountains go in the kitchen or the Sunday school rooms also hard losing his partner Mark Vickers Mark died on May 5th 1995 he was just 37 years old by his side Leslie Penrose Leslie at the time was the only one that we knew that was embracing gay and HIV and dying. And it was real and it was authentic and it was what ministry is about. And I say thank God that I was privileged enough to be invited into and trusted with their living and their dying. When you walked into our life, didn't we run together? Didn't we live together? Didn't we cry together? Didn't we play together? Didn't we love together? And to Now and forever, we will always think of you. It really was incredible today to, to share that story and to meet Leslie and just think about how times have really changed mm -hmm. since 1988, a time when there was so much fear. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Leslie came forward. She's straight. She's married almost 50 years to her husband, has two children, five grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, just incredible to see that in that era, in that time. Hard to um, imagine. Yeah, just so much fear mm -hmm. around, around and it. And now but, so much knowledge and, mm -hmm. and uh, positive inf information. Yeah. And Leslie was there the entire time holding a hand. So, yeah, incredible, powerful story tonight. Absolutely. Yeah.